Hello and welcome back. Is this voice creepy? It should be because it's spooky season. And I'm playing with flashlights. And I'm doing something I never thought I would do before for you. I'm John Stark from MacMovieGuy.com and for this spooky season, I've decided to watch a Paranormal Activity sequel. This is Paranormal Activity 2. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> this is on Max. It has audio description uh, done by I IFTC. I always wonder, like, am I getting those letters right? <laughs> IFSC or IFTC or, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> And, uh, British. It's British. Um, and, uh, yeah, Max, for some reason right now, currently has all the Paranormal Activity films, and I've only ever seen the first one, because I immediately, when somebody was like, oh, they're they're making sequels, I was like, why? <laughs> I was like, why? The, the, the gimmick worked the first time? It's not gonna work every time. Like, now you're obviously hiring actors, you know, when you have these found footage movies, you can't just keep finding footage. <laughs> like, oh, look, we found another family that happened to have recorded their weird event that is so similar to the first film. Huh. Weird. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't work that way. Anyway, for my blind audience, I'm just playing around with the flashlight. It's just dark, and I have a flashlight. It's very, are you afraid of the dark? It's, that's what I was going for. I love that show as a kid and uh, uh, the Midnight Society when everyone would sit around with campfire and everybody had like flashlights and they just sat outside and told ghost stories. Um, so that's what I'm doing with reviews of scary movies. Was Paranormal Activity too scary? Okay, so, like, one of the things that I appreciated was that it had moments where it could have gone for things and it didn't always go for them, but then it had a couple moments where it found ways of creatively going for something. There was, like, a glass door shattering, for example, um, that was uh, sort of, like, sh uh, unexpected. That got me. But basically, this is a family, and they have a little baby, and... Uh, there's a daughter that, like, goes away and, and, uh, with an older daughter that has, I can't remember what she has, sleepaway camp or a band trip or, I don't know, something. She's going away for something. She has some purpose where she, uh, isn't going to be there. So, um, yeah, they've got, uh, this, this couple and the baby and this other, uh, like, I, I want to say nanny that watches the baby and, uh, and things go wonky. Things go horribly awry. Uh, and they play around with different things than they did in the first film, obviously, because they have different characters and, like, they have a baby. So, like, the baby, uh, has the top, I would say top, it's like a toddler. I think he can walk. But it can't talk. It's at that weird age where it's like it's just learning to walk. And and I don't know how they directed this toddler. But I'm just sort of impressed. Because there were things that were like described. Where it's like staring at its reflection in a mirror. And I'm like how did you make it do that? Like how did you get a toddler to just stand there and stare? That must have taken forever to try to get it to stare at itself in a mirror. So that you could have that scene where it, like, suggests that it can see something in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? That no one else can see. Um, and y y the movie, of course, is, is it plays found footage just like the first one does. Where it's like, th this was, no. It, it doesn't, like, thank the families of, like, the first one does. The first one is, like, we like to thank the families of these people for allowing this footage to be shown. Let's commence. Uh, no, this one, it, it kind of, like, it tries not to be too stupid to the audience, and it tries to play it more like this might be based on a true story instead of, you know, like, the actual footage. 
<laughs> like paranormal does. Um, but I was I was trepidatious going into this because I watched Book of Shadows. Now I've also I'm also quite aware of all the problems Book of Shadows had, uh, the demand from the studio to make this thing happen, and. <sighs> Uh, how Book of Shadows really is a victim of too many cooks in the kitchen and too many people having ideas and thoughts and, and making edits and cutting and changing things and uh, rushing production to try to make to try to uh, make a deadline so that you can get something out as quickly as possible. And uh, I've heard that there's an edit of this film that's a lot better uh, that I think is on YouTube. So if you're ever interested in that, you can check it out. I, I haven't watched it myself because I heard that after I was blind and I was like, <laughs> that definitely doesn't have audio description. So um, no real point on that. But Book of Shadows, as it was presented, was terrible. So um, yeah, I just kind of was like, well, I think any, I think any Paranormal Activity sequel is just going to be like that. It's just going to be like, why are we here? But actually Paranormal Activity 2 really tries to pull off the found footage thing as much as possible with uh, actors who don't feel too much like they are classically trained. You know, they feel pretty much like real people, which is exactly what the unknown actors from the first film were doing. Um, and it spends most of the time inside of a house, just like the last one does, to the point where you're like, do you guys have jobs? Where do you go? Do, do What do you do for a living? Does anybody leave this house? You know, like, you just kind of... Uh, although there are times where they do leave the house and then the sort of like the nanny's alone with the kid and I think she's the one that sort of is targeted this time instead of Katie. So... Yeah, that kind of worked. I thought the audio description was fine. Um... I I don't think I liked it as much, but I liked it way better than I thought it was going to. Like that's, the, so like the 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 backhanded compliment is that I I, I liked it more than I thought it was going to. I still didn't like it as much as the original though. Like it doesn't do anything better. It's not like handing somebody more money made this franchise inherently better. Uh, but they also. I appreciate, and one of the reasons why I'll give this a high grade is I appreciate the fact that they didn't, like, overdo it. That they weren't handed, like, $10 million, and they felt like that they needed to show $10 million on screen. You know, I don't know how much this movie was made for. I hope it was still fairly low. Um, but uh, they've got, like, a couple things that are maybe a little bit more... Um, than the others it's it's a it's slightly less believable as found footage and feels a little bit more shot a couple things that don't quite work as well but overall like when you think about what book of shadows did and then to this this is like way better than book of shadows this is what book of shadows should have done uh, this is what they should have let book of shadows be uh they also didn't rush this out like this wasn't like a year later so uh, they weren't like, oh my god, we have to get this out immediately. Somebody rush a Paranormal Activity sequel. Uh, they started doing that eventually. Like, we had a Paranormal Activity sequel, like, every year once it happened. But I think there was a gap, uh, if I'm right on this. I think there was a little bit of a gap. More than there was for Book of Shadows. So, um, but, uh, it, yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's... Obviously, you're you're going to spend the whole time being concerned for the baby, because why not? What's going to happen to the baby? Are they going to do something with the baby? Uh, you know, uh, and I kept, I kept, like, expecting flying baby, basically, is what I was expecting, because I was expecting, uh, like, the demonic presence, because it felt like the demonic presence was, like, some sort of, like, mother, like, it was, like, watching over the baby, like, that was what they were hinting at, and, uh, I was expecting them to, like, having... We were going to see, like, floating... You kind of get it, but you don't get it in, like, a silly way. Like, I was expecting, like, the baby to just be, like, floating down the, uh, like, the steps. Looking like, obviously, it's being carried by something, but you can't see what it's being carried by because they, like, green screened it out or whatever. So, I was expecting stuff like that, but I didn't get stuff like that, so I'm really happy because it subverted my expectation and it tried to stay a little bit more grounded than that, and... 
Uh, it could have gone big. It could have gone wide. I don't know what the other sequels are going to go. I feel like with this franchise, anything's... It, you you could, just sort of like the Final Destination films, it's the same thing with that. It's like, at some point, it's like, it's it's too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, 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 tr you're trying too hard now. Um, but uh, at least, at least the second one, I would say, is a solid follow-up. Uh, it doesn't break new ground, it doesn't do new things, but it does enough that if you were really invested in this concept in Paranormal Activity and you want to keep watching films in this franchise, I wouldn't, I'm not going to stop you. I think it does, uh, I think it successfully pulls off what it needs to pull off to be a Paranormal Activity sequel, uh, for the most part. I'm not sure that I, like, love it or want to see it again multiple times, but, uh, considering I would never wanted to see this, uh, and I'm now watching it because it had audio description. <laughs> it's weird how audio description works. I'll watch pretty much anything if it has audio description. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it was good. And, uh, ITFC produced good audio description. I, I don't really care if it's UK, Canadian, Australian, as long as it's audio description from somewhere that I can understand and it's well-produced and well-made. I don't care who's on it. Um, you know, if it's in English and it's audio description, great. Let's let's make it happen. So, um, and uh, I'm going to give Paranormal Activity two a B. Uh, and yeah, it's not going to get close. It's not it's not too close to the first one. But as far as the follow up goes, this feels more Saw two than Blair Witch, <laughs> Book of Shadows. <laughs> So, where you're like, well, that wasn't Saw 1, but it wasn't, wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad film. It was just sort of like, yeah. So, um, I'm, we'll see what happens, because I'm going to keep watching paranormal films for you guys. So, because it's spooky season. So, click that subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the other side.